Welcome to the Gliding Federation of Australia's daily inspection video series. In this video, we walk through the inspection of the wings. Although you had a good look at the wings and fuselage while you were giving it a wash, now we will inspect it more closely. With the water dried off, a detailed inspection of the surface condition can be performed. When inspecting an aircraft, all your senses are important. Often you can hear something rubbing, or feel a crack. Starting at the cockpit, we work our way outboard along the leading edge, looking at the various items along the way, then around the tip and back to the fuselage. Along the wing, we're looking for damage to the leading edge and back to the spar. Small chips are okay, even hairline cracks that aren't too long or big. Damage can happen here for a number of reasons, but often comes from pulling them in and out of trailers. So be extra attentive if this is the first DI after rigging. As you come to the air brakes, check around the box for signs of cracking or failure. On fabric covered aircraft, pay extra attention to the join at the trailing edge of the box, which may lift. On composite gliders, almost always there will be small diagonal cracks out of the corners of the box. These are generally okay, and many inspectors will have little pencil marks to indicate where they were on the annual inspection, so that any large changes can be quickly noticed. Open the air brakes up and inspect the condition and play. Too much fore and aft play can mean bearings are wearing. The blades shouldn't flex so much that they would be prevented from closing under flight load wind pressure. Inside the air brake box, check for the signs of water buildup, as that can cause corrosion of push rods, or the failure of the structure in metal and wooden gliders. And the caps should be on securely. Close but not lock the air brakes, and make sure they sit reasonably flush with the surface. They should sit out a little bit, but very uneven amounts of protuberance should be investigated further. Finally, Lock the air brakes and make sure the caps pull down tight against the surface. And don't forget the ones on the bottom surface too, for those gliders that have them. Moving along the wing towards the tip, we continue to look at the surface and leading edge for issues. At the tip, check the skid or wheel is solidly fixed to the aircraft. Lift the wing up and look along the bottom surface for damage. Damage can be easily spotted by looking at the way the light reflects off the wing surface when looking at a shallow angle. There may be scrapes and minor impact damage on the bottom surface near the tip, as this often touches the ground. Mild damage to the bottom of the aileron can be found. Mostly this isn't an issue, but if you have any doubts, ask somebody with more experience to check it out. Safety of the wing attachment can be checked by a simple shake of the wing, but not too hard. First up and down, checking that the wing tip on the other end moves up and down at the same time, then forwards and backwards. The fore and aft test is particularly useful on two-seaters or those with large wings to make sure that the drag pins have been correctly fitted. Finally, if you have any winglets or extensions fitted, make sure they are also secure. We now proceed down the back of the wing, again looking for damage on the trailing edge, splits, fabric coming apart, and so forth. Stopping at the aileron, we have several items to inspect. Firstly, damage particularly on the lower surface. Check each of the hinge points for play and signs of damage. Where visible, ensure that the hinges are still safely secured, and that the gap seals, where fitted, have not started to lift or cause other safety problems. And with the help of another person to hold the control column, check that there is not too much free play and using some light pressure in both directions, check that the connections are secure. If your aircraft is fitted with flaps, repeat the process on the flaps. Inspecting the other wing is the same process as the first, though often done in the reverse order, as you will be inspecting the rear of the fuselage in between. In other videos in this series, we walk through the fuselage and cockpit inspections, 